Hi everyone. In this clip, we're going to go ahead and get started by sculpting or actually learning a little bit about the terrain tools. So I'm going to go ahead and first uh, close out the terrain toolbox. All right, so you can see what it would look like without it. And uh, I'll go ahead and um, close this too and close the AI grid panel so that all we have here is the sidebar, which is what you would usually have as your default interface. Uh, the thing that we want to do is let's go ahead and open up the uh, terrain panel. So what I'll do is I'll click on this thing that looks kind of like mountains. And it'll open my terrain panel over here. And I'll see here is my terrain. I can hopefully... I oh, thought I'd be able to rename it here. But maybe I can somewhere else. Here we go. So here I can just give it a name. You know, my terrain 001, right? And let's go over the terrain sculpting tool. So if we go up here, we have a uh, painting terrain, which is right now, if you notice, it does nothing. But what this does is it'll actually paint our terrain materials. Uh, if we go over here to the next tab, this is going to be our sculpting terrain. So we can you know, sculpt it coming up. And notice we've got some nice, uh, what we call... Um, triplanar projection so notice if i pull high enough right it'll number one replace the uh, material that's coming across here but also it doesn't stretch it it actually changes the uv projection to go outwards okay. so that way it eliminates i wouldn't say fully eliminates stretching but it at least is less ugly right? all right so this one just raises its rate uh, we could use this to lower it. We could also just right click rather than left. Right. The next one we have is flatten. So, and with most of the tools, you can actually right click. And it'll give you a couple of options about the, the way the tool works. For flatten, we basically just click and we can flatten out the surface and notice here there's definitely some stretching now so what we can do is click the next one for smoothing and so we can smooth some of those edges now notice my brush here may be too big so I can use the open and close brackets just like in Photoshop kind of shrink it a little bit and I'm just using my arrow keys here to navigate All right, cool. And then we can also use this tool, which is to create slopes. So this allows us to create a nice little ramp. Okay. To be a little bit more precise. Now again, we've got a little bit of shading issues there, so maybe we smooth them out. All right. And again, a lot of that is related, those shading issues. It's related to the fact that even though we're seeing a, a large amount of detail here, really this is the only polygons we're, we're working with, right? So when it stretches too far, like for example, uh, I mean this isn't too bad, but if say we're stretching too far like this, right, then it's going to be tough for this to not have any sort of shading or... or um, uh, shading or texture issues and that one actually made it <laughs> surprisingly enough there we go on this side I guess it's a little broken so here we just smooth it out soften that transition a little bit and that's it thank you guys and we'll see you in the next one